Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Right Play Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we are going to be heading out to Manit Point. And it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day and I'm feeling good. I'm going to check my mail really quick. I think I've got something here. Eventually... Oh yeah, I've got all that. I'll show you those later. Um, eventually you start getting rewards from quests that you've already completed because people are like, Oh, you are a cool guy. I need to give you something cool for all the cool things you've done for me. So you end up getting stuff for those from those people. But anyway, we are going to be heading out to Manda Point. But first, I'm going to make sure I've got all my quests and whatnot before we do that. And that will be fun. So let's talk to this guy really quick. Damn Separatists. All they're doing is cutting themselves off. Cockeyed fools. All of them. Did you hear about the bridge to Manit Point? Those foolish Separatists think that by blowing up the bridge to Manit Point, they're striking a blow for the people. But all they've created is division. And division is death. Lots of good people got stuck in Manit Point when the bridge went out. The Separatists are trying to divide us. Divide and conquer, right? There was a doctor there, Jay and Kett. Brilliant medical man and staunch Republic supporter. Essential to our effort. We need someone with the know-how to find him. I like money. Would you pay someone with the know-how? Dr. Kett is worth a lot to the Republic. Of course we'll pay. Like I said, last contact we had with the good doctor, he was on Manit Point. Seeing as the bridge is out, you'll have to swim the channel. And you'll want to watch out for the Separatists on the shore. If you have any luck finding the doctor, try to get him back here. Think you can handle it? Don't worry about it me. won't be a problem. Great. That's the spirit. You know, I think we've got a chance at winning this thing. Now hurry up to Manit Point. We have a moment to lose. We only have superior numbers in firepower and air domination. I think we'll be fine. I'm not sure why the Republic gets so freaked out over all these Separatists. I mean, the, the, the obvious advantage goes to the Republic because we have, like, this part of the island and this part of the island pretty much completely taken. Ellis, dear, stop overreacting. We don't know it was him, and I don't see the use of bothering a stranger about it. You're too cold, Yero. This is our son we're talking about. He could be alive and on that island, and you don't care. That's not true. I just don't see the point in getting our hopes up or in wasting other people's time. We wouldn't waste anyone's time. We'll pay. We have the credits. There are guns for hire everywhere, like you. Could you help us? Uh, I need more details. Tell me what the problem is. I'll see what I can do. Don't listen to her. We don't need your help. My wife's chasing phantoms, that's all. A friend of hers thought she saw our son on Manit Point, but my wife knows quite well that our son is dead. Our son was taken from us years ago when the Separatists raided our home. My callous husband would rather believe he's dead, but I can't bear the thought. Our friend says she saw him. Oh, I must know if it's true. Wow. You must be in pain. It must have been terrible, losing your son. Oh, yes. But I've never given up hope. Jenna said she saw him at Manit Point. Please, will you go look for him? I'd give anything to have him back safe. Sure. I'll find him. You got my word on that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. His name is Paul, the spitting image of his father. You can't help but recognize him. Well, it's your time, I suppose. They'll be there anyway. It's not a big deal. Find Paul! Alright, so that's the three quests we got. Sable the power relays, find Paul, and find Dr. Jane Cat. So let us proceed onwards. Moseying on down the beach, we come across a Republic Brigade that's been pulled over on the road. Their carrier downed by rocket launchers. Sup, buddy? Looks like you're in a bind. Who took down your ride? Blasted seps. Look at my AT. Their rocket launchers tore through the Durasteel hide like it was nothing. From the look of the vapor trails, I'm thinking Mersan MX2s. That's stolen Republic ordnance. They're using our own weapons against us. Sounds bad. That could be trouble. The rockets were launched from the bridge. I need those rocket gunners taken out, and every cache of stolen weapons on Manic Point destroyed. Are you game? And I get what? What's the upside for me? 
You'll be rewarded for your efforts, I promise you. Good luck over there. Sweet action. Alrighty then. That's the deal about that. There might be a bonus objective for killing the ones over here on this side, but I'm not sure, so let's go ahead and head on down to the beach. Alright, we got a little robot taxi. It's good. Fox Reach. It's good. Medic Droid. It's good. Wait a minute, I need to sell stuff really quick. My inventory's been getting progressively more and more clogged. Let's see here. Dead, 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 dead. That looks to be about everything. I'm gonna go ahead and use a stem on this part of the level because it can get a little bit annoying up in there. There's a lot of dudes. First, let's talk to this lady. Listen, if you're here to tell me to clear out, then I'll tell you the same thing I told that uptight commander. Not going to happen. Got it? I've got as much right as you do to be here. In fact, I've got more. I'm a model of free speech, a paragon for posterity. What are you? A local grunt, that's what. No good to anybody. So don't go telling me to clear out. I won't do it, and that's that. You sound frustrated. Had some trouble with the local troops? Are you trying to smooth talk me, gunslinger? Con me? Trying to play good soldier and... Oh, damn, you're not actually with the locals, are you? Nope. Sorry about that. My mouth always engages first. Brain's working now, though, and I got an idea. I need something done, and I don't have enough credits to bribe the whole corrupt Ord Mantel army. I've got enough to bribe a smaller army, though. You for hire? Uh, that depends. What's the job? Think of it as an adventure. Wait, no, don't do that. You'll wander off aimlessly. Think of it as a job. My partner and I were in Manit Point recording stories of the uprising when the Separatists attacked. Bombs everywhere. Carnage like you wouldn't believe. Fabulous footage. My partner got lost. Good kid, but not a lot upstairs, you know. He's still out on that island somewhere. So, you want me to get him back? So, it's a rescue mission? <laughs> sure. Why not? I mean, he was a nice kid. I'm more worried about the hollow recordings we took of the uprising, though. Wow! Look, if you can find my partner and bring him back, great. His name is Wax, and he's a self-important little hollow recording specialist. If he's dead or whatever, I'll still pay you for the hollow discs if you can find them. Great footage on there. Fantastic, gory stuff. Uh, sure, that sounds fine. Anything to support the arts. Bring me those discs. <sighs> Creepy. I don't like her, but it's money and money is money and money and money is money. So let's storm the castle, shall we? First order of business is take out all these rocket soldiers on the bridge, and they're pretty much all on the bridge. They'll go down pretty easily, but they do damage, because I'm pretty sure they still have their rocket launchers. Yeah, they do. Okay. Let's get up in their faces. Eh. Eh. Ding! Is that all of them? Mm, I don't think it was. I think it was only a few. Anyway, with that done... Wait a minute. Yeah, that was all of them. I only needed to kill three. That's fine. With that done, let's head into the actual more Mantel crazy beta point base of badassery and shattered dreams, I guess. Is that what is that what I need to call it? Yeah, that works. Okay. Basically, inside of here, we have a couple things we need to do on the outside. We have to go activate these little comms towers and then destroy a bunch of weapons caches and basically mow over a lot of separatists and these comms towers are kind of every wow they finally fixed that bug amazing finally there's been a bug for the past I think few weeks of release that's not really a it, not really a major bug but it's a graphical bug that's really been messing up my computer and they finally fixed it by turning these blue instead of green. That is awesome. That that actually makes me quite happy. <laughs> that's all. That's that's great. That's that's just perfect. So let's hit this thing really quick. Disable that power relay, and then we'll have to do this to all the other ones. So we'll be back after I do a little bit more slaughtering. All right, that's all the lesser objectives done. Um. With all of that completed, 
those three radio towers and all of the weapons caches. I'm gonna head inside of this building and do another little thing, Emma Boober. Because as you recall, we were asked to find this doctor type person and take back to the base for whatever reason. Whack. Eh. Stop shooting at me. Stop it. Stop it. Blah. But he's inside of this one little building right here. So let's build up a little bit more energy before we head in. Uh, yep. There we go. Let's see what all this is about. Please, Dr. Jan. Please. Just a minute, Dake. You're not with the Separatists, judging from the bloodbath. What are you doing here? What do you want? If you mean to harm these children, I won't let it happen. No. I'm here to help. I'm the cavalry. Let's get you out of this mess. There are people on this island who need saving more than I do. The Republic shouldn't waste its time on one man. And besides, I can't leave the island. It's... it's the children. They need me. Of course they do. They're orphans, most of them. Yep. Their parents were killed during the fighting over Manet Point. It's all this coming. A few of them have family on the other side, but they're too young to swim that far. They all need food and medicine. I won't leave them here. They don't have to swim. You you can just run over... Whatever. Whatever. I've already made my point on that one. Um, we'll move them also. Can't we get them off the island too? It's too far a swim. The Republic won't help either. I've seen the corruption in their ranks. They don't care about the people of men at point. Well, that's not true. I'm sure the Republic would help if they knew. You have more faith than I have. But I'll cut you a deal. If you can convince the Republic to send help for these children, I'll return to Fort Garnick. Hmm, I'll help. I'll work every angle I can. I doubt the Republic's going to requisition boats just because you said so. Here, I'll write out what I need and sign it. At least they won't laugh at you then. And if you can get them to come and save these children, then I'll come back too. We won't fail you. The Republic won't let you down. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll care about a bunch of kids. It seems like something of a worthy cause. Heck, I'm pretty sure even the Empire would care about that. Let's see right here. We gotta go... that way for that, and this way for my class quest. So let's go ahead and do the class quest next. Don't even bother cutting for apps. It's just a little ways over here. Over a few boxes. Might even be able to ninja. Ninja, 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 ninja! And then I got stuck. Okay. Let's take out these dudes guarding the front. Oh. Frisbee! Hand grenade. And you're dead. Hilarious. Alright. Inside this building, we have our class quest. That is the door to the back. We can't get through that just yet. We need to grab the data in this room that I believe has been encrypted with all the nasty, nasty bird-watching code. You open Reki's treaties on Ord Mantel's exotic birds and are instantly bored by the tall text entries. I hate reading. I became starship captain so I wouldn't have to do homework. You quickly use the cipher Reki taught you to uncover the schematics hidden within the text. The schematics show a door right in Reki's basement that opens into the, an area outside with perimeter walls. The perimeter walls. A pathway leads down the hill to maintenance passage leading to the Separatist hideout slower level. The Separatist computer station is under heavy guard, but they won't expect attackers coming to them from the back door. And that's the deal! So let's go through the back door. Because that's how I do it. Through the back door. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't jump over that like I was going to. Okay, there we go. There's uh, not too many dudes out here, as they said, but there's still a few. And they're annoying enough to make me not want to fight them and just kind of mosey on around them. So down the hill we go. Into the secret, super awesome base type thing. 
throwing grenades and making everyone angry in the process. Wow, there's a lot of people down here. Holy crap. Whack. Grenade! Oh! That's all that taken care of. Really easy bonus objectives on this part of the game. Defeat 15 Separatist forces. Well, we're probably going to do that anyway, so no big deal. No skin off my nose. Hata! I should probably just get in cover. It's good practice right now. Any little bit of damage I can avoid that I wouldn't be taking otherwise, probably a good idea. I've gotten swarmed and killed up here before, just because I was being stupid. Everyone knows what happens to me when I get stupid. Whoa. Frisbee! Pretty sure we're almost at the core. This place is not super big, but it's bigger than most of the other class quest story things in this area. Whoa. If I can soften all of these targets up really quick, I'm pretty sure I can kill them all with one. Yeah. Nice. It's the way to do it. Saves a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, a little bit of cooldowns, a little bit of everything. I think we need to kill four more of these dudes for the bonus objective, which I can do really quick. Soften this one up. Soften that one up. Soften that one up. And throw a frisbee, because I think he's got more health than the other ones. Nice. Hookie dookie. Yeah. Let's head downstairs. Over the rail! Over the rail! Over the rail! These two are just kind of prancing around. Quick, get that bonus objective for some extra experience. Nice. And let's head over to this console. Come on, Force, and say it just like I taught you. The Republic lackeys will drown in lakes of fire and blood, Master. Death to all who oppose the people's will, Master. Oh, dear. Hey there. Uh, we had some trouble with the power relays. I need to check on the computer core. You mind? Master, I detect the presence of several non-functioning humans, specifically the bodies over there. Setting alert status red. Oh, jeez. We must be under attack! By the stars! Republic troops have invaded our base. Oh no! Force and activate combat protocols. We've got to warn the others. Master, my sensors detect no evidence of hostile forces. But that doesn't make sense. Uh, your droid's malfunctioning. When was the last time you calibrated that droid's sensors? Not recently enough to take any chances. We need to put the base on alert and rally the men. Here, comrade. If you see any Republic lackeys, use this on them. Let's go, Force, and there's no time to waste. Derp. All right. What if he just give me <laughs> a minor reflex adrenal? What? So if I see any Republic lackeys, I'm supposed to use a reflex adrenal on them to boost their cunning. Okay. Well. That's, uh, some sort of strategy there you got, buddy. I think I'll just take it and leave, if it's all the same to you, though. We got everything we need to do here. Uh, th that's a fun little dialogue option for some extra light side points. Convincing the kid that you're actually not Republic. Funny, funny, funny. Let's get out of here. Meanwhile, on the other side of the compound... We have to head in and explore this last and final little bunker. Because we still have two more objectives that we need to complete. That will take a little bit of time, because they're both kind of on the bottom floor. 
but not too long. So let's examine this guy really quick. Head down the elevator, see what we can do here. A separatist base. First objective is over in that little corner, and the other one is right on top of it, I think. Yeah, it is. So we're just gonna head straight down this little way. The side passages are for the trooper objectives. In here. Fear me, I have a pistol! All of your assault rifles mean nothing. <laughs> eh. This is a spacious, spacious, nice little room. I like their decorating. Separatists have very good Karma Sutra. Wait a minute. That's not the right word. Why did I say Karma Sutra? That's not what it means. That's... What word am I looking for here? Feng Shui. Karma Sutra is something else that I shouldn't have said on, on camera. But, um, um, well, maybe they have good Karma Sutra, too. I, I don't know. I'm not one to judge. That, 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 that might be a perk. Of joining the, uh, Separatist Army. That's why there's so many of them. Man. I'm just gonna shut up now before I make an even bigger ass out of myself. Oh, wow, I can't believe I said that. Die! Separatists. Uh, it's all because I watched Austin Powers last night. God. And that movie came out so long ago, and I forgot how bad it was. So I was like, I want to watch this movie. Remember how bad this movie was? And it's awful. It's so awful. It made me want to cry because I remember liking it when I was little, and now it's just like, oh, it hurts. It hurts the insides. My favorite movie is still Milo and Otis, though. Don't judge me. Don't freaking judge me. I like the simple stories. They make more sense. Eh. As it turns out, I think that's Paul in that room over there. He's not dead! Yay! Yay for Paul not being dead. Hello. Stay back, Republic scum. Stay back or I'll shoot. He's so cute. Maybe you can help me. I don't want to fight. I was hired by a couple to find their son, Paul. Do you know him? No one here by that name. No one here with parents. The Separatists are our family, and war is our mother. What? I am Bone Crusher, and my men are loyal to the death. We eat Republic lackeys like you for dinner, so stay back unless you want to become our next meal. Uh, come on now. Are you sure you don't know Paul? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll rip you to... Uh, no. No. No more. No more killing. No more blood. He's got the crazies. I'm sorry. I'm Paul. I'm the one you're looking for. Please don't... Don't don't kill me. Uh, explain. Tell me what happened to you. I'm sorry. They want us to forget who we are. Where we came from. Please, it's... It's the stims. The separatists pump us full of the stuff. And we stop thinking. We just want to kill everything. I've had days like that. We were taken years ago. Fifteen of us. I was thirteen. The others were younger. The separatists gave us stims and blasters and told us to kill. We couldn't resist. They would have killed us. So we took the stims and... And we didn't have to think. We could just shoot and... It's over. You're free to go now, Paul. I thought about running, but didn't have anywhere to go. It costs a lot of money to get off planet, and the Separatists don't pay us. Wait, what? I can't go back to my family. How could I face them after all I've done? If I just had a few credits, I could leave this damn planet. I could start over. Please, can you help me? Eh, yeah, have the credits. I hope this is enough to get you off planet. I don't know how else to help you. It's... It's plenty, but you're... you're giving me credits? 
I, I... I don't know what to say. I can finally leave. Thank you. Poor kid. Take this. So my mother will know I'm okay. Tell my parents I've escaped Ord Mantell. Of course. Let me handle that for you. Thank you. Thank you again for the credits. I'm gonna wait until the stims wear off. Until I'm sure I won't hurt anyone. Then I'll make my break for it. You've saved my life. I owe you everything. Funny, I don't get like that when I take stims. But I guess I take the good ones. The one's called Mountain Dew and... Donuts. What? That wasn't what I wanted to say. Don't know. What's the other one? On? No, I guess I was going to say donuts. Wee! Frisbee. Hand grenade. Minor thing. I'm going to shoot you in the balls. With my foot. And it will kill you because you are a giant robot that is weak in the balls. And then I slap you with my blaster pistol, and it does so much damage, even though you're made completely out of metal. I love this game! <laughs> uh, fun. Alrighty then. I think we're just about finished with this place. Hello, Wax! Hey, watch out! You're getting in my light! The lighting is essential to selling the message of urgency, you know? I'm here to help. I'm the cavalry. Let's get you out of this mess. What do you mean? Why would I need... No. You're from the Republic, aren't you? Come to kill me for my noble work. Well, you're not going to succeed. There's no way I'm giving up my footage of the glorious uprising. Lamala may be willing to hide the Republic's warmongering, but I'm not. I'm with the Separatists now. Uh, Don't find me on this. Don't be stupid. You can't win. Save your threats. I'm not going with you. I've re-edited those hollows to show the plight of the Separatists and their families. So you go back to Lamala and tell her she can find another Patsy to do her work. I've seen the light. Hmm. No. Give me those hollow discs, or I'll make you give me those hollow discs. What? I, I don't. I don't even have a weapon. I'm just a journalist. Fine. Okay. You can have the hollow discs. There's just one little problem. The Separatist propaganda officers already have them. You want those discs? You best get them before they distribute them so everyone can see. Great. Uh. All right. So I guess we gotta do that really quick. I never took the dark side option for that quest before, but I think it makes more sense than the light side option. He's totally being an ass. It's not like I even killed him. I just want the stuff back. I guess there's not too many of these little separatist propaganda officers. There's like two right in this room. Eh. Da. Grenade. <laughs> All right, that's all that done. Fantastic. And to answer your question, no, I'm actually not sure if I want to go dark side or light side just yet. I'll probably find out when I do Black Talon. Whichever I feel like doing on Black Talon is the one I'll end up sticking with. But uh, I really don't care about the extra dark side and light side points right now. It's not a big deal to me. This makes more sense to just role play whatever. It's a fun way to do it. If you worry about points, it's just like taking away from the experience. And the rewards aren't even that great. You can get neutral rewards for that matter. I think. I'm not sure if they put that in yet. I'm pretty sure they put that in. Now it just occurred to me that I think I said Black Talon earlier, and I really didn't mean to say that. What I meant to say was Esselus. Esselus is the Republic version of Black Talon. And we'll be, we will, we will, we will, we will be doing that as soon as we head off planet. But that'll be a little bit before we can get that far. And I'm hoping, hoping if I get lucky, that I can convince someone in Guild to come along with me. 
But that'll just have to wait, and I'll have to see. But before we leave here, um, there's a Datacron we can get super quick that I just happen to lo know the location of. Part of this guide will be hunting Datacrons, actually. I'm going to try to get as many as I possibly can. And I'm pretty sure the population will be willing to cooperate with me on that fact. For some of the Datacrons that require more than one person to get to. Whack. Like, I know I can get all the ones on Coruscant by myself. They're all easy. But some of them do require an extra person. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Wee. So, first order of business is we gotta get this Datacron. Datacron, Datacron. Gotta get that Datacron. Oh. Crazy little sand critters. Over here, in the middle of nowhere, there is a random elite. And he does some damage, but you gotta kill him in order to get the Datacron, because he's like, right on top of it, basically. So what we's are gonna do is we's are gonna go over here near this rock. We're gonna crouch down, recover, and then we're gonna fire our super laser. Hand grenade. Move a little bit. He does do those, which are annoying. And they hurt like a mother. I'm gonna kick you! I'm gonna punch you in the face! You are not going to kill me. No. I can solo you. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Not too hard. Some of the champion mobs around here are fairly difficult to do that with. Da -da 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 -da. You have located a Datacron ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire. This Datacron contains a Red Matrix Shard! Hooray! Red Matrix Shards. I'm not even going to begin to go into what those do, so we'll just have to touch on that later. But all you need to know right now is we can collect them, and they are, they are nice. They are nice. So, let's go back to Fox Reach. Deet, 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 deet. And talk to the lady, because we have her stuff. We can give it back to her now. I've never actually seen this conversation before. Hello. The hollow disks, you got them. That is fantastic. Amazing. Unexpected, even. I can't wait to see the footage from where the bodies were. Wait, where's Wax? Eh, he joined the other side. Turns out, he joined the Separatists. Blast. And since he didn't come back with you, I'm guessing he didn't give up the hollow disks willingly. Now it'll take a miracle to convince him to come home. Stupid kid. Always sympathizing with the underdog a little too much. Anyway, fair's fair. Here are your credits. Spend them in good humor. Make those discount. I really hope the recordings are worth it. Right. It's footage like this that makes all the fighting and death worth it, you know? Neat. Dark side points! <laughs> so I managed to go 150 light and 150 dark. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's fine with me, no big deal. If I went full light like my last character, I might die of boredom. Let's see here. So let's go back and let's talk to this dude. Now the down bleh, over here, near this thing. I have no idea what I was trying to say just then. But it didn't come out right. So Put on quite the light show out there. I'm impressed. I'd say you've earned your pay today. Yes, indeedy duty. Let's see here. I'll take that stem. Neat, 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 neat. And with that, we have to run back to the village. Very short jog, but um, movie magic. Hello, people. You're back. Please tell me you found him. Tell me you found our son. Calm down, Ellis. Let the stranger breathe. Will you please tell my wife that our son is dead and have done with it? Uh, Your son's alive, but far away. He left Lord Mantell, and he wanted me to give you this. 
Oh, it's the ring I gave him when he was little. He gave you this so I know he was okay? He was always so thoughtful. I wonder why he left Ord Mantell. No, Alice. It's probably better if we didn't know. Don't you worry about her. She needs time. Here are the credits my wife promised in her frenzy. Thank you for your help. I wish I'd done more. I'm sorry I couldn't bring your son back. Don't worry about it. We've already had five years of believing the worst. Neato. Let's see here. Cunning. More stems. Need. Need the stems. So let's talk to this dude. About the doctor. What's this? Where's the doctor? Hey, he's with the kids. He's taking care of about 20 orphans. What is this? The doctor needs... Has he gone insane? This is an awfully tall order. Judging by what he's written here, soft-hearted Jayan has found every single orphan on that island to take care of. Figures. You saw the situation. What do you think? Can we really get the doctor and the kids out of there, or should we just focus on the doctor himself? We can't leave anyone behind. Those children need help. Rescue them and the doctor. You're right. Division is death. We'll get those kids. You better believe we'll get those kids. Good work finding the doctor. You can take your pay and go now. We'll handle it from here. Again, good work. Had to be done. I couldn't let those children suffer. Of course not. Who could? Not me. Not the good doctor. No, sir. Well, I have work to do. Children to save. Keep fighting the good fight. Who am I kidding? You guys know I'm playing light side. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm just that kind of person. I can't help it. If you want a dark side LP, go watch Fire Weaver. <laughs> and Kalith are jackasses. But lovable jackasses. And I, I, I find them absolutely great. But anyway. <laughs> um, I might get in trouble for that later. Um, let's get our training. See if there's anything you nice we can grab. For oh, look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at this flash grenade I will take that and I'll put it right here that's another stun it's a little bit more of a range on it and with that I think we can head back into Vidu's little shop and see what's going on with our story thus far anyway hello leave me alone Bracco if Vito knew about this, he'd... Vito? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogue on the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When Vito's gone, you'll need new friends. Captain. Thank goodness. I could use your help here. Yeah, let's bluff him. Rattle down, boys. Word is, Rogue on the Butcher has his eye on Serena. That's right, Bracco. You don't want to get on Rogan's bad side. He's already scoping on his future trophies, huh? Wow. Figures. Creepy. It just proves Vito ain't long for this world. Let's go, guys. Thanks for stepping in, Captain. I was so frightened. Uh. Not a problem. I couldn't let those thugs push you around. I've never had anyone defend me before. I wish there were more men like you in this galaxy. <sighs> what Brocco said was true. Rogan the Butcher will kill Vidu if those blasters don't turn up. Vidu can't protect me anymore. He's not half the man you are. <laughs> well, let's find a nice quiet spot to talk about that. I can't do that to Vidu right now. Maybe when the danger is past. I should go. Vidu's waiting for you. I won't forget your kindness, Captain. Farewell for now. Neat. Hokey dokey 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 dokey. Now that we've flirted with Vito's girlfriend, <laughs> let's go upstairs and see what the guy wants. Do 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 do. Finally! I thought you'd never get back. Tell me you've got those separatist files. Yes, and I had a blast. Those Separatists never knew what hit them. I hate missing all the fun. Next time I want to go. 
You did good, Captain. Corso found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Let's hear it. Until I get my ship back, my schedule's pretty open. I have an exciting opportunity for us to all stay alive. Hooray! I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Cyrena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. I like risky. Can't be any worse than a hut's kitchen. You don't understand. Folks lose their arms and legs on this job. Heads, too. There's a loopy scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons and makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? Credits, you say? Just how unbelievably well are we talking about? You do this, and you can buy some nice upgrades for your starship when you finally get it back. Really? Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradam Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. Hmm. Hokey dokey. Okay. With that done, I've got a new belt. Oh, wait a minute. My inventory is full because I'm being dumb and not selling all my things like I should be. Okay. Is that enough room? No. Is that enough room? Yes. Appears to be so. New belt. Sweet. Eh. 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 Oh, ready, 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 ready. Let's talk to Corso super quick. Let's see what he has to say about our situation. But that appears to be our next objective. Uh, money is our next objective. Making money. Yes. Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's cut for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy can bullseye a Saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. Oh, neat. I'm grateful. Like I always say, never look a free blaster in the barrel. Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? All right. And we have our modable pistol already. I enjoy keeping this thing because it's pretty good. So I'm going to slot a mod into it really quick. And that weapon should upgrade um, as we find more upgrades for it, rather. So we can basically pop out upgrades from other weapons and put them in this one, and it makes it really nice. First, let's do a little lore objecting, and I suppose I should probably sell things before we get going next time, but I can't I, I freaking equip it that yet. Ugh, blah. Um, smugglers get their legendary awesome weapon way before any of the other classes do. It's kind of weird, but I'm not going to look a gift blaster in the mouth, as Corso likes to say. So... That is where we're going to leave it. Appreciate Thank you for business. watching Rec Play Star Wars The Old Republic. Next time we will probably get blown up by radiation and chemicals. Have fun. See you guys.